Most of us learn something about America's presidents. There are schools, cities, and other landmarks named in their honor. But this book is about some people who are not famous. They don't have towns or schools named after them. They are five enslaved people who were legally the property of some of America's most famous men. Billy Lee was in New York when Washington had the Declaration of Independence read to the troops on July 9, 1776. A constant companion, he had seen all of Washington's wartime defeats, disasters, and disappointments. A single young woman, probably illiterate, she was escaping from the household of America's most famous and powerful man. Isaac's stories reveal much about Jefferson and the world of Monticello's enslaved people. But they hide perhaps more. Then the White House was set afire. Bystanders watched as the mansion was engulfed in flames. Wandering the fallen city streets, Paul Jennings watched Washington burn. The story of Alfred Jackson offers a very different look at the lives of enslaved people. The tale of the 1838 Christmas riot is special, and not simply because a former president stood by some enslaved men. Each witnessed extraordinary events, and each has a story to tell about what being enslaved meant in early America. <laughs> 